Welcome, what you're about to watch is a video on good tasks and reminders and how they work together. This is from my course, Getting Started with Reminders, Digging Deep into Reminders. You can get it in two spots. You can find a link below to it on Skillshare, or if you become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership, you get all of my courses, including this one. Buckle up, enjoy the video. Now, before Apple Reminders had any of the smart features that it has now, or had all, all the nice stuff it has now, there was Good Task. Good Task was the power user task manager that used Reminders as a sync system. So this is another tool you can use third party to help enhance Reminders. Let's take a look at it. So one of the first things you want to do is have your global keyboard shortcut for Good Task, because it gives you a nice uh, task entry window. And you can do that by going to our settings, which is command comma, and pressing global keyboard shortcut. You can see I have a uh, control option space set as my global keyboard shortcut. And that brings up the task window. So this is a new good task task. And then I can do stuff like put in my tags right away to do. And it entered it right in here. So that will be in my inbox now. New good task task with to do. Now I can also, again, come into my tags and I can select a tag if I want. So you have it to upcoming. Uh, these are their quick actions. If you're really going to dive into good task as a power user tool, then you need to dive into the quick actions. Now from this quick entry window, you can change your list you want it in, you can change your priority, you can go to the quick actions as well, where you can set location, a whole bunch of different stuff in here, I suggest you know, learn quick actions, you can set your due date if you want, I can set notes, and I can set subtasks directly inside if I want. If I hit escape, it should dismiss it. The other thing good task can do is has enhanced views. So one of the things you can go back to all lists and if I hit command zero, you see that I have a Kanban board here. So actually let's go back to my inbox and let's go to our tags and let's delete this tag. So now that we have no tags here, I can click on to do right here and set my to do tag. And that will give me, if I go back to all lists, a Kanban board. You can see I can drag it between to do and doing, done, someday, and if you prefer that type of view, that is one you can use. I can use a Kanban board style view based on my list, based on priority, or based on date. So this is a nice view to get an idea of what's happening for the week. You can see it also shows me my calendar events because I got a lot that come up. Now, this can be good to look at it and say, hey, I don't want to do this many things or I have so much already going on. So this is one that I had a date on earlier and I want to clear the date. That was just a demo task. So today my only job really is to get these videos done. So I have no task today. Now to see all the views, you can go up to toggle view, which is command zero, or I can go to list day, week, month. And so let's go to day and command zero to toggle. So now I have a list based on say day, week, or month. And I can have some idea of what's going on each day for my tasks based on these different views. And finally, quick action. So let's go to select this one. If I hit command O, I can get a quick view of my quick actions. One of them is complete. I can change which list I go to. The thing you can do here is start typing to have some idea. So if I type L, you can say I have lists and it took me directly to it. So this can make um, managing your task much faster just from the keyboard if you want, right? I could select my next task, hit Command O and then do something with it. Change the list or change the day or just do some of the quick actions. If you're really gonna dig into good tasks as a task management tool, in addition to reminders, get to know the quick actions. Finally, shortcuts. Let's add a new shortcut here. And it just, good task. So one of the best things it has with is with the create tasks. And if I hit show more, you can see I can actually add subtasks here. This is something shortcuts and reminders really doesn't let you do. Uh, you have to pick like a drop down and choose the parent task every time to add subtasks. It's not just not the most efficient way to use shortcuts. Way more steps than it needs to be to if you're going to use shortcuts with um, reminders to create tasks. Definitely look at good tasks and use it there. If you don't have good tasks, you can get it in setup. That is where I would recommend to get it. There's lots of other excellent tools in setup for you. And then finally, keyboard commands. Let's open up Safari. Good task has tons of keyboard commands. I'm showing you the iPad ones, but there's also a huge list of keyboard commands for Mac OS as well. So again, if you're going to use good tasks, dig into it. You learn the keyboard commands, learn quick actions, really dig into it so that you can get the most out of its reminders sync system. It's an excellent app.